Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you a simple way to track the progress of those often tricky level of effort tags in Premiere P6 by displaying their baseline. Level of effort are an important part of many schedules, but the standard baseline does not always show them. Let's change that. Okay, so let's see how we can display baseline for level of effort tags in Premiere P6. Okay, but before we go ahead, let's define what level of effort tax are. So what are level of effort tax? Level of effort tax in project management are support activities that do not directly produce a tangible deliverable. Okay, they are not on the critical path. They are always ongoing throughout the project life cycle or throughout a particular WBS or just a particular section of the project and they contribute to the successful completion of other tax. In your project okay unlike tax dependent activities and you know, their duration is determined by the start and end of the tax they are linked to so as you can see in here so the first activity um that's driving the level of effort will be linked to it like a start to start relationship and the last activity will be linked to the level of effort bar as well as a finish to finish relationship so if the activity driving the start of the level of effort is delayed then the level of effort will reflect that as well okay if the duration of those activities are, are longer than initially planned the level of effort part will follow accordingly okay so um let's understand the difference between the tax dependent and the level of effort tax so tax dependent they have discrete outcomes so like you know they have a particular deliverable like design documents you know, a building a prototype, completion of a building, their duration are based on the estimated work that's required to complete that activity. But on the other hand, the level of effort represents an ongoing effort, like meeting, like project management, you know, like administration tax that you need that will be an enabler for you to complete those tax dependent activities. Okay. So their duration is tied, as I said earlier, it's tied to the associated tax length. So they start and hand along with their link tax. Okay. So what are the examples of um, level of effort tax? So the first one might be, you know, project coordination and management. You want to ensure all project elements are synchronized, you know, resources are allocated efficiently and all parcels are achieved and they've been seamless project workflow. Okay. So the another one could be quality assurance and control. So you want to maintain a high standard of project output, you know, preventing cost rework work and simplifying the project reputation through continuous quality monitoring and audits. You want to represent, you want to create a bar in your program, a level of effort bar, representing the period where you need to um, apply quality assurance and quality control on your project. Again, be it in a manufacturing site or be it, you know, when you're actually doing the construction itself. Okay. So stakeholders engagement and communication so probably you need to facilitate the effective information flow and feedback between project teams and stakeholders that are essential or meetings expectation and gaining support okay so safety management you know if you want to implement some safety protocols and monitor across the project site to um to protect the personnel and prevent disruption maintaining legal ethical uh, standards but more importantly for me is this last one, the logistic coordination. Yeah, so now I'm in the P6. So let's say um, I want to create a level of effort for um, all the activities in this design and development WPS. Okay. So all I need to do is to just click on your plus button to add a new activity. So I'll call my activity level of effort, design and development. Okay. So level of effort, design and development. All right. So if you want to know the, um, the activity type that you have in your program, so you just need to do is to go to columns in here, go to general and click on activity type. Okay. So as you can see here, so all my activities in this program are tax dependent activity, but this new activity that I've just added, I need it to be, um, <coughs> 
So I've got uh, a simple program in here. So let's say I want to uh, create a level of effort um, to show the duration of all my design and development activity. Okay. So all I just need to do is to create a new activity by clicking on this plus button. So I've got a new activity. I'll just name it as level of effort design and development. Okay. So um, as you can see, you know, I've, I've got economy here and that shows the activity type. So as you can see, all my activity in this program has got it, uh, tax dependent activities. Okay. So at number one, I need to change this level of effort activity to a level of effort. Okay. So I need to go to general. Then you see activity type here, click on it and select level of effort. Alternatively, if you have the column in here for the activity type, you can actually click here on it and click on the drop down and say level of effort activity. So now here, we have a level of effort activity here. So what's the next thing to do? Like I mentioned, you know, the start activity in that WBS should be driving your level of effort and the completion of the activity will be a finish to finish your level of effort. So this is my first activity. I will link it to my level of effort. So link, then I will change the relationship to um, start to start. Okay. So you change the relationship to start to start. So what that means is that when design phases uh, initiation starts, my level of effort it should kick start as well. Okay. So you, see, you can see the level of effort has got like a default duration, you know, in P6. But don't worry, just ignore the duration for now. It will take care of itself. So uh, let's go to the last activity in here. So you can you know, select on this development of contingency plans. And that's the last activity in that WBS. So if you want to know, you can actually sort out, uh, sort your program by start date or by finish date. So you 100% know that that's the last activity. Another way to look at it, because this is simpler, we're just looking at the particular WBS. You can see there that the end date is on the 7th of June. So this activity is finishing on the 7th of June. So that's what I'm looking for. So click on this activity, then let it be a driver or predecessor to your level of effort as well. So link, then go back to your level of as a level of effort, then change this to finish to finish. Okay. So you got it as finish to finish. Now the next thing you need to do is to schedule your program. So when you schedule your program, you can see my level of effort duration has changed to 48 days. All right. So I've got 48 days duration for the level of effort, but then I can't see it on the can't all right so you can't see it on the can so what do you do so you right click and you go to bars so you see your level of effort here so you have the remaining level of effort so that's the activity that's not completed so you've not started any activity related to that WB, uh, that level of effort so and you have the actual level of effort so the first thing i need to do is to say you know, my remaining level of effort is what um remaining bar okay an actual level of effort will be the actual bar all right so that's my level of effort and if you move to the right here you see the color of the bars how uh, it should look like so just look at the activity and the corresponding can see what will happen now when we apply so make sure it's ticked make sure you take it and just click on apply so now as you can see i've got my level of effort bar so it's visible in my project okay so I can now close this. As you can see, before I close it, I've got my project baseline bar there. So that's the, that's yellow. I will close this now. So let's create a new baseline for this project and see if our level of effort will be uh, bar will be captured as well. Okay. So what I want to do to create a baseline, just go to your project, go to maintain baseline, then click on add, and then save a copy of the current project as a new baseline. I'll we'll click on OK. So this is my new baseline right now. Okay. You can rename this baseline if you want, but I'll just leave it as it is. So B1, I'll click on close. Then I'll click on project, then assign baseline. Some people might be asking, you know, um, I've not created a baseline for this project, but then you have your baseline bar yellow. So the reason is that, you know, look at your um, project baseline here. So you can have three, uh, four baselines attached to your project. You can have the project baseline, the primary baseline, the secondary baseline, and tertiary baseline. Okay, so this as you can see, it says current dates. So the dates for this, the bars are displayed here are the current dates. So to change that, you know, to bring my new baseline, I'll just select this baseline and click on apply. So now though, there's no difference with between what we had before. Now that's because it's still the same data. If you move your data date now, you will see that your activity will move, but your baseline will remain the same. But then let's go back to uh, the elephant in the room. 
So the reason why we're doing this video is because of this uh, baseline bar for your level of effort. So as you can see, you know, we've created baseline, but my level of effort bar is not showing a baseline bar. Okay, why is it? And how do we fix it? So to, that's the default in Premiere Pro Basic. It will not show you your uh, baseline bar for the level of effort. So how do you go about it? Just right click on the bar on the on the ground area and click on bars. So when you're on bars, what you want to do, you want to go to your um, baseline. Okay, so just go to your baseline, project baseline. So at the moment now, we've applied the project baseline to this project. So that's this yellow bar. So you can see the color here is yellow. Okay, so what I want to do now is to update the filter for my project baseline bar. So click on normal here and look at the filter. So it's just applying the normal filter. That's why we've not got a level of effort baseline bar. So what you want to do now, you want to include level of effort to it as well okay and click on any of the following okay and click on apply click on okay all right so now i've got my level of effort bar okay and normal or normal for the bars so now if you want you know i would like just like to change the size you know to match the length of my or the thickness of my level of effort bar so just into this just click on okay and now you see my level of effort has got its own baseline bars. Okay, so so there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Primavera P6 tips and tricks. Do you have any other Primavera topics you want me to cover? Yeah, let me know in the comments below. If you have any question at all, drop it in the comments below, and I will happy to answer you as soon as possible. Thank you. See you in the next one. Cheers.